we love this book. We really do. You've got to buy it and watch the Gaia video. Anyway, all coming up in today's episode. So she talks about 30 principles and that what, it ha what you have to do is get your astrological chart and then based on uh, the, the chart and the degrees of each planet you can then work out which principle applies to which planet. Hi guys, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm in a little bit of a crazy mood today. Anyway, um, and Freya is, um, has joined me, she may bark because, oh, Freyakins, um, because um, I have an alley next to my house here and there are loads of people in it making a load of noise. I really don't know why. It's the people who live over there and she thinks that every little noise is someone coming to attack her mama, so she barks and gets really cross. So yes, I apologize if you hear her bark. Anyway, today's video, uh, all about this amazing book. The Invisible Garment by Connie Kaplan. I absolutely love this book. Now I'm saying that and I haven't even read it, which sounds a crazy thing to say, right? I'm saving it as a treat tonight, okay? I'm so excited to like look into it properly. Okay, just let me explain how I can recommend a book I haven't even read yet. So I am a subscriber to Gaia. If you are not, if I said that right, you know when you just always say something a certain way and then you think, oh, is that right? I'm sure it is. Anyway, I'm a subscri subscriber to Gaia. Um, Gaia is like Netflix for spiritual nuts. So it's got everything on there that you could possibly want. Meditations, yoga, health, fitness, um, spiritual growth, personal development, transformation stuff. There's everything on there. I absolutely love it. It's like Hay House for for videos you know um, so yeah it's amazing you can watch all things like what the bleep um, there's things like um, uh, oh there's loads of films on there that I really love I need to do a video about the films that I really loved on Gaia um, yeah and also if you've got any Gaia recommendations put them in the comments please so that I can watch them and other people can watch them as well so um, this was the series with Regina, oh I should have written her name down, Regina somebody, <laughs> Regina, it's called Open Minds anyway and it's a series uh, where she sits down and interviews a variety of people and she was interviewing Connie Kaplan, I actually watched the second I think she's been on there two or three times. There are ten series. Now some of them I am not as keen on because stuff that's to do with like UFOs and stuff, I'm moderately interested in that sort of stuff, but not hugely, I've got to be honest. I like I like a bit of it, but you know, not a huge amount. Um, but there's all sorts of videos on there, all sorts of things, sort of people she interviews, and I love a lot of them. I think they're really, really good. I keep looking at, like this because I'm trying to remember that woman's name. <laughs> I know it so well, I can't believe I've forgotten. Anyway, Regina somebody on Gaia. But it's called Open Minds. She interviewed Connie Kaplan. They talked about this book. I immediately thought, wow, because those of you who know... Um, who follow me on Instagram, I actually put a shout out on there saying can someone recommend me, recommend to me an astrologer because I really want to get my chart done. I've never had it done properly before and I really really wanted it and then this book seemed like the answer because it's not astrology but as soon as I heard it I thought that's for me, I need that. Okay um, and then I went and looked on Amazon and it actually said, like, the first review was like, if you're thinking of getting a, an astrological chart, get this instead. And I was like, yeah, 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 that's for me, that's for me. <laughs> so, like, it was really annoying though, because I couldn't actually, it's hardbacked. 
I, it ended up costing me like nearly 30 quid, which is quite a lot for a book. I think it's about 23 or something, 24 pounds or something. But I had to have it shipped from America. It, it, I couldn't get the book in the UK, which I found really weird on Amazon. Anyway, this may have changed. If you're in the UK and you try and buy this or in Europe, you may find that it is available um, when you watch this video. I don't know, but anyway, I didn't care because as far as I was concerned, it could cost 100 quid. I was getting that book. So I ordered it, it came, and it dropped through my letterbox this morning. Ah, and I'm so excited about it. I like, just went like this, sort of like, ah. But I'm like this with books. Don't you love the way books smell and everything? I'm obsessed with books. I'm obsessed with transformational books because for me it's like every single book is like the promise or the potential or the offer of something amazing coming into your life you know like you know it's a transformate transformating person you know when you're transformating <laughs> as a transforming person as a an awakening person you know when you're in that state where you know you read something or you hear something and it awakens you a bit more and you find a greater level of happiness and a greater level of understanding and you understand yourself a little bit more. I just love that. So every time I get a book, I'm so excited because I know I'm going to learn something and I know I'm going to move and I know I'm going to shift. Now, the reason I can recommend this book before I've even read it is because essentially I already kind of know what the gist of it is. There are a couple of blog posts on this book. Um, or if you just type it into Google, but there's also Connie Kaplan's site and she actually has on there conversations. So she had like a little bit about each one of the types. So there's all different principles. There are 30 spiritual principles that weave the fabric of our human life. So she talks about 30 principles and that what, it ha what you have to do is get your astrological chart and then based on uh, the, the chart, and the degrees of each planet, you can then work out which principle applies to which planet for you. So like your sun and your moon are really, really crucial, but then so are all the other planets as well. And then what you do is then you look them up in here and it tells you about you, okay? And about what you're here to do, what special gift you have, what is your life purpose? This is what this book is going to tell you. Your life purpose. Your life purpose. I love it. I'm so excited. Can you tell I'm excited to read this book? Actually, this is actually what I'm like all the time. Uh, if you need a telling, I'm an innocent, you know, so like, I'm a child in the heart, which we already kind of knew. But anyway. So, I cannot recommend this enough. I have read everything I possibly can about self-awareness. I would consider myself to be a pretty self-aware person. I've been totally immersed in all things transformational for about 10 years. I'm totally obsessed with it. Um, I would say I'm very self-aware. This book told me things and was like, wow absolutely wow incredible absolutely incredible i cannot recommend it enough so it's just amazing what i did was i got my chart i worked out which planet was which principle and then i looked at the conversation so i hadn't actually read the book on you know all the details how to i hadn't read um my um bits in the book but I did read the like additional notes that she has written since she wrote the book so it gave me a huge um, insight but then this is gonna solidify it all for me okay so the actual technique is amazing you know and to be honest with you you can kind of work a lot of it out without buying the book if you just type get your astrological chart type it into Google the, um, this the invisible garment get her website up and and there's another person's blog and they actually put in their blog and um, how they worked out their chart so it's not difficult to work out basically it's the degree of the planet so say if your um, say if your son is at one 
you would be an innocent in the sun because number one is innocent. So you need the, the spiritual principle number. So for example, 29 is movement. So if your Mercury, at the time of your birth, if Mercury is at 29 degrees, I think that's right, then your Mercury would be movement. Okay, so that's how to do it. That is it. And so then if you read her notes on her website, it will give you some of the information. But I would highly recommend you to buy the book because I know already it's going to be amazing. And thank you, Connie Kaplan, to putting all that on the website because those of us who are absolutely desperately hard up, if we have internet connection or can get on the internet, we can actually find this out essentially for free. Um, and she's a beautiful, beautiful soul. I cannot recommend watching her um, videos enough either. Watch her on um, Gaia. She is amazing. She's got some amazing information. Um, I find the book title a bit weird, The Invisible Garment. I get it. I don't know. It's a little bit strange for me, but what she's saying is so powerful. And this has informed me in terms of my purpose so, so much. Like, I've always kind of known what my life purpose is in a way, but she just came along and was like, wow, bam, you know, and it's like, it made sense of so many things. And because I'm a very creative person, I'm a writer and everything, I was, and I'm very caring. It's like, well, am I a carer? Am I a creative? Am I an innocent? Am I a this? Am I a that? You know, and this kind of sorted all of that out for me and really made it clear for me where my, uh, you know, how this all fit together. So, buy this book. Yeah, buy this book. I cannot recommend it enough. Guys, I hope you're well and I have an amazing week. Um, it's so good that Freya didn't bark. She just laid down on my knee like a good girl. Um, we love you so much and we look forward to seeing you on next week's video.